Okay guys, today we're going to be doing this an oil change on this 2007 Toyota Camry Hybrid XLE. Okay, to get to under the hood, you have your hood latch right here. Okay, so under the hood, you have your oil cap right here. It even says what kind of oil you need, 5W20 or OW20. And right here you have your yellow dipstick. Now we're going to go under the car and I'll show you the other two things you need to know. Okay, we are under the car. This is the passenger side wheel. And if we go and look up right here, we have our oil pan right here. Oil reservoir oil pan. And going just a little bit this way, we have our oil filter. Then if we go far, just a little bit farther back, we have our oil drain bolt. So this is where everything is. Let's check out the tools we need. Okay, so here's some stuff you're gonna need. An oil pan. I've got my socket wrench with the 14 millimeter socket. I've got my oil filter pliers to pull them off. I'm gonna be using this new Mobile One annual protection and it uses an M1103A oil filter. And last but not least, my handy dandy funnel. Okay, so on this car, when you're going to be taking off the bolt, you turn it to the right or towards the passenger wheel to un undo, um, unscrew it. Okay, while my oil is draining, I'm going to pop the top lid so that it drains a little faster, and then I'm going to remove the oil filter. Okay, just opening the lid so that the air goes in so to, do, to help drain it a little faster. Okay, as you can see, I got my funnel set up right above my oil pan. If you're going to be unscrewing the oil filter, you turn it you turn it towards the passenger side. So when you grab it, you turn it this way. You turn it counterclockwise to undo it towards the passenger side. You turn it. So I'm going to take the oil filter off, and we'll just let it drain. Okay, so the oil's still dripping a little bit. It's been an hour, but what I did while that was draining, I cleaned up the oil filter housing so I can have a clean contact between the oil filter and the rubber seal on the oil filter and in the metal housing so I'm gonna get the oil filter ready and pop that into place okay so here's the oil filter I got out of the box because of how the system is set up I can actually add oil into here before I put the oil filter in just so that it doesn't have a dry start so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil into here put a l little bit of lube around the ring and put it back in place Okay, so I got the oil filter installed and tightened on. Next thing I'm going to do is install the bolt. I'm going to hand thread it on first, and then I'm going to torque it down to 27 foot-pounds. Okay, guys, so I did my looking. Um, for this engine, you want about 4.5 quarts of oil. For the bigger Toyota Camry engine, the V6, you want 4.7. Don't quote me on those numbers, but those are just some rough numbers. I'm going to add 4 quarts, then I'm going to start checking the oil level. Okay, before you add too much oil, check under the car for any leaks. I don't see any leaks, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, so I have about 4 quarts in. I'm going to pull out the dipstick and we'll check out the oil. Okay, with the dipstick out, you can see that we are right in the safe zone. I'm going to add just a little bit more oil so I can get closer to the top notch. Okay guys, now that the oil is changed, all we need to do is reset the oil light. I'm going to press the power button right here. And press it one more time. Okay, I have it on. I'm going to go to trip A by pressing the push button. I'm going to hold it to reset A. A has been reset. Now I'm going to turn the car off, press the power button again, push the trip button, hold it, and press the power button twice. One, two. And reset mode is being activated. And reset has been complete. And as you can see, the, the I don't have the orange triangle on anymore, that's for the maintenance. 
And we're gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna start the car now. And the car's been started. You just don't hear it, but the engine should kick in any second now. And there's the engine, and I don't have the maintenance light. Basically, that's how you do an oil change on a 2007 Toyota Camry Hybrid.